So the first step, we need to pull up Scalar 2 in the software. Choice right now, I'm in FL Studio, but you know, you can do this in every DAW. And here we go. So we have Scalar 2 right now, and the next thing we need to do is pull up our user. We're gonna right click or two finger gesture if you're on the MacBook and click on user. And from user, it says import port sets. So you can open a folder. So it's gonna open up the folder and you can see the two port sets right here. So the next thing we want to do is go where we have the chords. So I have all my chord book stuff uh, downloaded and I have it already in a folder. So all this stuff right here can be found at 16levels.com by the way. And uh, shout out to Empty the Feature. But uh, we can go ahead and copy all of the stuff right there and then we can paste it into your folder. And this works the exact same way on the MacBook. I didn't navigate to any special folder or anything like that. And now we have all of uh, the new sets in here. So we have about 10. And once we go back into user, you will see we'll have to refresh the list. Once we refresh that list, everything should be there. So you see now that we have all of the new port sets in here. And yeah, so the next thing on the list here, we'll test out one of these port progressions. Let's go ahead and go into there. And then I will assign it to a key. And let's go through another one. Some more stuff. All right, so all that works. If you're wondering where all these chord progressions came from, I have the link in the description box. It will take you to 16levels.com and you'll see that we have the whole core book collection by MG The Future. And if you want to know more about Scalar or you want to know where to get Scalar, then you should check out this right here. The link will be in the description box. It will be an affiliate link and I will greatly appreciate it because Scalar 2 is really dope.